Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. It's day after Thanksgiving. A little cooler in Oklahoma. Just turned my heater on out in my shop. A little nippy. It'd be all right. Hey, guys. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Were you thankful? Were you thankful yesterday? But are you thankful today? Might be needing some Alka-Seltzer today because I know some of you overate. Because I did. <laughs> Had some tacos yesterday. Man, they were so good. Had some friends come over. They, this lady brought this amazing casserole. And another lady brought like a green bean casserole with this version of it that had like pie dough at the bottom of it. Man, where these people come up with these ideas to make these fantastic dishes? This other one had Doritos in it. I mean, because we had kind of a Mexican theme yesterday. It was good. Had some good coffee yesterday. Having good coffee this morning. Getting into the word. Getting into the word last night. Getting into the word this morning. So, today's what they call Black Friday. The retailers are hoping that this is going to be the time in which they make their profits back into the black and out of the red that they can recover for the year. But really, it's like if we're doing what we're supposed to do all year long, we might have some down times, but most of the time, we should be operating in the black. So this morning, Matthew 5 Verse 14, you are a light, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all of those who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. See, you letting your light shine on Black Friday out there, you're making it Sunshine Friday. Sunshine Friday. See, I get all excited because when I read verses like this, sometimes I realize I'm like, didn't let my light shine so good yesterday. But I know today is a new day and I can go out there and let my light shine today for him, for the kingdom in any way he sees fit to have me shine. I was just had this picture in my head, like hiding your light would be, I have a light beside my bed. I got to the point in my life that I actually will turn on a lamp beside my bed and read in the evening. <laughs> Never thought that that would happen, but it's nice. And I just thought, why would I light my light beside my bed so I could see the word and but then put a bucket or a basket over it so I couldn't see the word. Just gave me a, a picture in my mind. It's like, I wouldn't do that. So why would I put the light of Jesus under a basket, under a bucket, hide it someplace to where it can't be seen? You know, he's a good God. I don't, some people will argue that, but I will tell you his goodness and his mercy and his grace in my life, I cannot dispute. It's undeniable. His love is undeniable. So I'm just telling you, don't let your light, let your light shine. Don't hide it. When you're out on Black Friday, tell somebody Jesus loves them. Because you know what? You may be the only one that day that puts any God into their life. Because I've been to some Black Friday. I will not do Black Friday because that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever been to in my life. You talk about when they make the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie when he went trying to find a doll for his kid or whatever and people were just being ridiculous in the stores. It's a real thing. <laughs> they made fun of it on in Hollywood, but it's a real thing. These people are, I hate to say it, but they act like animals. And if you go back to Genesis, we're not animals. We're humans. Right? Right. So go out, let your light shine before men, so it glorifies the Father. In Jesus' name. You guys have a good day. Recovering from the tryptophan overdose you had yesterday. And going and letting your light shine today. Always remember, Jesus loves you. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Grab you some coffee. Grab you some word. Get into it. Realize who you are in Christ. 
realize what Christ has done for you and realize that everything that the Holy Spirit does turns to Jesus and everything that Jesus does points to the Father so that he may be glorified. And in you doing your job, you're glorifying the Father. Have a great day. See you soon. Goodbye.